seemed like a bit of a grind for Hap today, but managed to give you five. How was he able to settle in after giving up those two early runs? I think that it just speaks to his character. You know, he fought a cramp a little bit in his calf there and, you know, really hot. So, you know, the beginning of the year didn't really start off the way that he wanted it to, and he's really picked us up his last three starts. And, uh, again, you can't say enough about what he did just to get through the five and put us in a good spot because coming off the doubleheader, we, we needed the innings for sure. You mentioned the cramp. Is that when mm -hmm. both you and Stevie Donahue went out to the mouth yeah. with him? Yeah, yeah. And were you at all close to removing him from no, the game? I mean, he just, he really was just saying, hey, give me a second. Let me stretch it out a little bit. And uh, he wanted to stay in the game. So. Eric. Josh, what's impressed you most about Talkman? You've seen him this year. Uh, I think the biggest thing is he just creates a lot of run value, whether it be defensive plays. I mean, you look at the, you know, that's a big, big play early that shifts the game. And, you know, he's really been ready. I mean, he's we put him in some some spots where, you know, he's facing Snell or he's facing, you know, guys that are tough, and, and he's been productive. And, you know, kudos goes to, to the office for going out and finding us another diamond in the rough. On the far right, Justin against the wall. You just mentioned Hap giving a length after yesterday. Just how important, top to bottom, how impressive was it for what, what Tarpley and obviously yeah. Ottavino doing what he does? I mean, we, you know, we talked about it before the game that, we were up against it a little bit. You know, we were, you know, willing to, to roll out our guys. Uh, but, you know, there would have been a lot of guys down tomorrow. And for, you know, Tarpley to step up and, and do that, I mean, it's just there's something special going on in that room for sure. So. Christy. Well, when you have a player like Talkman and you're facing the team that traded him away, is there an extra you know, motivation that you see from a player like that in that situation? I think that he's he's human and, you know, he's a competitor and, uh, but, you know, he's his preparation's been unbelievable. Um, you know, he's been back and forth. We've asked him to do a lot of things and uh, he's been a pro for sure. Meredith? Just more on talk when he said on the field how he kind of had to shift his mindset a little bit from a guy who was used to playing at times every day to a guy that plays once every couple days. Yep. How difficult is that for a player to adjust to that type of role at this level? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just you look at the roster and, and you know, we've got really good outfielders and he creates, you know, the ability, whether it be to pinch run or defensive replace late, um, and he really puts together quality at bats. He has controlled the strike zone. I know that we've talked at nauseum about that as a group, and he's just another guy that kind of passes the baton. I mean, the other night against Tampa, he has a huge walk with the bases loaded, and, and it's the little things like that that just keep, you know, it's that slow drip that just keeps adding up.